Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is the scent and warmer of the month for December of 2023. And there are two warmers, a mini and a full size. They are absolutely beautiful, totally up my alley. And I think that you guys are going to love them. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in my house this week. And I am just so happy to share these with you this evening evening actually. So let's start out with what Sensi says about our monthly specials. So we always get a flyer and we'll have all the info in there and we have scratch and sniff stickers which are wonderful in our early access consultant kit to be able to put on things when you're giving brochures and things to people. And it's a lovely light sweet maybe slightly foresty scent but it's not super strong and I think it's very very nice. So let's see what we've got going on in here. It's called Frosted Night, both the mini and the full size, and it is kind of the dewdrop or like crystal finish, which is new and I really like them. And you have the silhouetted shadow of deer and these beautiful trees, and it's totally, totally my kind of thing. So the mini warmer is 15 watt and the full size warmer is 25 watt. The mini is 22.50 because it's on sale and the full size is $45 on sale. So then we have the meat at the mistletoe itself, which is a very happy, bright green, very Christmassy and winter green kind of a bar. We have top notes of mistletoe, mid notes of refreshing forest, and the base note of cherry. It's $5.40 in the month that it is offered. There is a room spray always for $7.20 and a scent circle for $2.70. I'm really excited about this. So let's start by giving this beautiful green Christmassy bar a good sniff. And typically the ones that we have in December for a scent, it can work for Christmas and after Christmas. It tends to be fresh or woodsy, but in not a super holiday way. So let's see what we have with Meat at the Mistletoe, which is a really cute moniker, really nice name, and we shall see what we shall see. And it's all of those things. It is slightly woodsy, it's slightly sweet, it's slightly fresh. It's very nice. I will melt a lot of this. I think that this would be good with something that's more cherry. I think it would be good with something that's more pine. It would even be good with something a little bit more fresh. It's really lovely. Maybe a medium. I don't know. This might get stronger when you put it in the warmer, but I'm thinking about a medium. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to throw some of this in my warmer ASAP and really enjoy meat at the mistletoe. So now let us go on to one of the warmers. So the mini comes packaged like they always do and you get a base that is like this and you can screw in the little light bulb and then plug this in. But today I came a little bit more prepared because my younger daughter loved these and unpackaged them before I could even do the video and wanted to try them out. Here is the beautiful mini. Look at those frosted pieces that are on here. It's like bubbly and gorgeous and sparkly. I'm going to put this onto a tabletop base. The tabletop base is a separate $15 purchase. This one would be for glass, but it's worth it. And lighting this up, I think you guys are going to love this. Yes, and see, we even have the little deer here. And this one glow is a little bit warm, even though it's very icy in the finish. It has a nice yellow and almost yellow and brown glow rather than black and white, but it is really gorgeous. And it's very, very pretty off, which will be easier to see with the ring light off. I really, really like this. If I was not getting an early access kit, I would have absolutely picked both of these or at least the mini up. This is similar to our wildlife mini, but I like this much better. It is a better shape. I think it's crafted more beautifully and I love the scene on it. So that is the mini. And then we have the full size. And again, my daughter was so excited that she already unboxed these on me. So this here is our box. And this is our beautiful full size frosted night warmer. And this one will be distinctly black and white. You can see the deer here. You can see the beautiful droplets. It's a plain 25 watt bulb, so let me turn it on. This is a stunner, you guys. It really, really is. And it's a nice cheerful black and white, but it is interesting the difference in the color of the way that these two are. You can see this is a little bit more yellow and this is a little bit more white. And that is just because of the nature of the bulb 
up against the glass and then the size, of course, of this. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. So I would definitely pick these up if you like Woodsy and the gorgeous frosted bubbly finish on this is truly spectacular. I'm very, very happy with these. So I will smell the meat at the mistletoe again. I can't really compare these to anything else except that Wildlife Mini Warmer. Now, ages ago, there was a Wildlife Full Size Warmer, and it was kind of an odd shape on a base that had uh, like a birch log slice. I far prefer these as far as looks. I think that these are very classic, very tailored. They'll probably throw well enough, being that they're both heavy glass, the full size warmer especially. Here I am trying to process three different things at once. The full size warmer should perform quite well because those heavier glass ones tend to be pretty good. Let me get this out. Yeah, and there's maybe a little bit more sweetness on the bottom. This is not a bar where I think it's going to change very much on warm. I just don't know what the strength will be. Probably a good medium, really nice and fresh, but in a woodsy way. And it's got the sweetness from the cherry. It is very, very good, you guys. So here is the full size. And pretty much every December, we have something that straddles the kind of winter and you could make it work for Christmas theme. A couple years ago, we had the really pretty one that had the layers of gold and then it had the white frosted shade. I had one of those, then I got one from my best friend, then she broke the shade part, then I gave her my other one. So this will be going into my collection kind of in that niche of missing warmer because I was a good friend and gave the other one away. And I think that you guys will love these. I'm going to try out the scent. You guys have an amazing day. So this is Elizabeth Quinn or night with Elizabeth Scenes and Scent with the December 1st warmer and scent of the month for 2023. And I can't exactly compare this to anything else specifically. Like it's not as minty as eucalyptus wreath. It's not as vanilla as frosted vanilla. It reminds me a little bit of Christmas Cactus, but that's long gone. I have it here for a different video that I'm going to be doing. Christmas Cactus is, it's a lot stronger, but it's kind of like that. I guess the only thing where I could tell you there's a hint of similarity would be these two, the Christmas Cactus and the Meat of the Mistletoe, but I need to get this thing in the warmer and see. Christmas Cactus is a boomer. I think this is going to be more subtle, so have a great night and enjoy. God bless. Bye-bye.